it's Faye. I'm broke. So what had happened was it is summertime. I'm looking for an excuse to shop. And a few of you guys commented that you guys wanted me to try out Polly Princess. I've shopped from them before. No, this video is not sponsored or anything. Polly Princess is a very Instagram kind of aesthetic. And to me, when I look at Polly Princess clothing items, I think of the, I'm just gonna point out the obvious, your average skinny beach girl. However, when I was shopping, I did see models that were a little bit thicker, who had more curves, who had a little bit more meat on their bones. So to that, I am very pleased to see. Regardless, I do feel like the Polly Princess image is your typical blonde, thin body type. And I'm not here to body shame, obviously. Look at me. Due to all the festivities that have been going on, I have put on a few pounds since my last clothing haul. Has that personally affected me? Yes. However, I am still confident in my body. Just because I have bad days doesn't necessarily mean that I hate my body. I am confident. Well, I try to be confident. I still try to be very positive. I'm sweating. Hold on. All that to say, I am here to try on some Polly Princess clothing items on my body type. I am quite stubby. I have meat on my arms, my wings. I have a tummy, all right? Pretty round and nice. And girlies, plus I'm five feet, so not your typical body type. By the way, can we like normalize all body types? Thank you very much, TikTok. All right. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am excited. Polly Princess actually carry a wide range of sizes. This is my second time shopping from them. And the first time I mainly just got crop blouses and I found that my boobs fit. It was a little snug. I think I got sizes eight for my tops. So a lot of these clothes, I went for size eight just from my reference from before. And I remember the first time I shopped at Polly Princess, I didn't really like it. The fact that they're overhyped, the quality. So the first thing I got was too big. Motel Shiny Mini Skirt Daisy Sage. That's it's quite lengthy and green and I got it in size 8. This was a whopping $45. Look at the quality. Do you see this? Because of the amazing lighting that I don't have, it is quite see-through and you can't really tell. This thin fabric wrinkles quicker than my eyes. And I have wrinkles there, all right? She doesn't stay young forever. I know what the fabric feels like. Polly Princess, this is a pillowcase. Now I'm not gonna hate the print, the color, adorable. I absolutely adore the slit. I actually really like that about Polly Princess PP. PP, we're just gonna say PP from now on. They're very well known for the slits by the thigh. However, $45 for this, I could have done that myself. It's a hit or miss. And this is what I mean, it's a miss. I could fit my whole arm in here, maybe two arms. The fabric is just so like, for $45? Are you kidding me? This could have been super cute, you know? I'm still debating to return this to get like a smaller size to fit me or just get my money back because I don't really like the fabric. For $45, I could have gotten real good food. This is the next piece and if you can't tell, I'm really into pastel yellow right now. I just feel like it flounders my skin tone. This is the Freya mini dress. So this is in size 8 as well. Aren't these rings adorable? Thank you. It has a zipper on the side, so... Uh, one. I think I need help. No. <laughs> I was so excited. Look how adorable this print is. Okay, it's just so summery and it fits the body far until this part. No, 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 no. The length is good. And I'm short. Okay, so the length is perfect. This is such a cute dress and I love the inch width strap. Whole slap. Well, I guess I have to return this because it's out of stock. It's not like I could get a bigger size at this point. <laughs> I am a C cup, but sometimes in other bras, I do fit a D cup. So I'm also confused. I need to go get myself measured. Even if you fit mediums or size six or eight, but your chesticles range from C to D, Polly Princess dresses are gonna um, most likely not fit. Here is another dress and I am praying it fits me because at this point, I'm getting a little bit like skirt, you know. Does it fit? <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, this by far is my favorite dress. I mean, I'm trying like three things. And I got this in size eight, so it fits. Oh my gosh. I just realized I didn't really shave my armpits, so like I can't be lifting my arms like that. So the side of the dress actually has a zipper and the back is stretchy. And I figured that's probably the reason why my chesticles were able to like snug in. Really had to like, uh. <laughs> it is a holder top, so I tied it at the back. 
like so. Oh, by the way, just ignore these clips. I got really hot. It's a struggle when you have to uh, zip yourself. <laughs> Can we just take a moment and appreciate the print and the color? It's not even my favorite part. Look! I don't know if you can tell, but there's actually these strings that you can scrunch up and you can shift your dress a little bit to the side. You can kind of customize this dress and scrunch it up to the length you want it. I appreciate that because like, I got no legs. I'm gonna take advantage of this. I'm so obsessed at how thin these halter strings are. I feel like it draws the right amount of attention to my broader shoulders. It's not like too bad. This floral print is perfect for summer and spring. You can even dress this up in fall with like a jean jacket or something, you know? You know that thing? I forgot to do it. So here's the next dress. I was opening it in the package and I was like, did I get this? Did I order this? Anyway, I strictly stuck with the size eight. We'll see if this is a, uh, if this is it. This is called the Military Minds Mini Dress. I am absolutely fascinated with the color and the person is just gorgeous. I mean, <laughs> beautiful color. Very cool tone olive green. Has an ashy feel to it. Respect. It's too long and there's just too much fabric going on. Yikes! I was able to convince myself that I can make this work because there are these strings on the side that I can scrunch up. And when a dress scrunches up on the side, you can kind of hide your belly, right? I think that's why I got it. I mean, it's not horrible. I just don't feel like it flatters me as much as I want it to or I envisioned it to. Something about this neckline though does not sit well with me. It just sits so odd on my frame. Because this top is so closed up, it makes me look very heavy, especially already with like a heavy chest. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Overall, I feel like I can make it work. If you look too long, it starts to trick you. But like it looks fine. Just don't look too long. <laughs> am I right or am I right? <laughs> I bought another dress. I think Polly Princess PP is very well known for their dresses, so that's why like I bought another one. Like at this point, I don't even know if this will fit me or if it won't. Um, I got it in size eight again. The other one fit, the other one didn't. This is the Cedra mini dress in wine. Honestly, it's the color that cat called me. Let's try. Fingers crossed. The zippers won't meet. I can't squeeze this in any tighter than it is. Everything fits fine around the waist and hip, but when it comes to the chest, it won't go all the way. You're just gonna have to size up. No questions asked. Regardless of that issue, <laughs> look at the ruffle lining. It is so flattering. It has a very girly flair to it. This actually unties. Not that you should wear it like this, but it's nice because you don't always have to suck it in. You can, you know, eat and exhale because there's a little covering here, so who cares? Dainty little spaghetti straps too. Oh, oh well, I'll just have to return it or get my money back and just take goodies. <laughs> Thank goodness I decided to stop purchasing dresses because like, imagine how devastated I would have been. Randomly, I decided to get this crop tank. This is the baby tank top in white. It's a crop tank that says baby. <laughs> I wanted something to pair up with my crop shorts. And I don't normally wear tanks with text, so why not? Why not? Why not? I do feel like it's a little see-through, so make sure you wear a nude bra. It's just a cute little tank, nothing more to say. I still think Polly Princess overprices their things. I do have one last piece and it's a skirt. Hold your horses. Oh, I lied, I lied, I had two, two pieces left. I decided to buy a mini skirt. So I thought, this is a jean skirt that has a slit right here. I am a sucker for slits on the thighs, but I got it in size 10. I'm not sure why or where I was going with it. The length is off. Look how long it is. We definitely need to get a shorter skirt that's tinier. Look how cute this skirt could have been. Look at that slit. We just have to get rid of this part, okay? I love how this light denim is just so plain and simple, but that cut on the thigh, it brings a little risk to your outfit. So, um, this is actually the last piece. I'm not gonna try it on camera. This is a one-piece bathing suit that goes like this. Um, I'm a little worried because there's no padding for the boobies. Then there's this strap that goes around your waist. And then, you know, your normal bottom. So just think of this as three little straps for your body. Does it come alive? Does it come alive? Yes, it's new. Okay, hopefully, okay. I'm gonna wash this, you know, obviously before I wear it. My only concern is, 
there's literally like no padding for anything. I do plan to do a whole Amazon bikini haul and I'm kind of nervous for it because I don't normally do bikinis, okay? I never really do. But I want to challenge myself and make it okay and normal for girls who are like you and me. I totally forgot that I got these shoes from Polly Princess as well. These are the Therapy Stena in yellow, I believe, and they're size 5. I have very small feet. I have no shoes in this color and I decided that I want to expand my shoe color palette. I'm just absolutely obsessed with how small the heel is, but a lot of support. You see how round it is? And also, look at that framing on the toes. And if you can't tell, I love little heels. With that being said, that concludes this haul with a bikini hanging off of my arm. Now, I am gonna give my overall thoughts on Polly Princess and I'm sorry if this like doesn't toot your horn. I do like the aesthetic of Polly Princess and I love the fact that they do run from all these different sizes. So there is a variety there, which is good to hear and good to see. But some and most of the items that you purchase from Polly Princess are gonna feel very cheap and not worth the money, especially like four to five dollars. So with a shop like this, it's either gonna be a hit or a miss. It's very similar to like Forever 21 or Fashion Nova. I feel like Polly Princess just know how to promo and market themselves, especially on Instagram because this is a very Instagram aesthetic kind of shop. So no hate do you. I still like some of the pieces and I'm sure I'm gonna wear them. My last advice I'm gonna share is that be more cautious if you have a heavier chest, even if it fits you around your waist and hip. These dresses do not cater towards girls with heavier breasticles. Breasticles. So for the most part, just check your sizes. If it doesn't fit, return or exchange. Yep. I'm gonna vlog that process and hopefully when I get the new sizes in, I can try them on again on my vlog channel for those who actually want redemption. Ooh, make sure to comment down below what other shops you guys want me to try. It just makes me so happy that I can help you guys even though I'm not really helping. But I feel like I am, especially since I feel like we're breaking that stigma. At least on this channel, all right? Take it easy. I'm about to go. <laughs> Until next time, I'm sending love, bye.